power pull is a great unilateral exercise that brings into play all sorts of things from back strength, rotational movement, shoulder stability. It's a tremendously functional exercise. We'll show it to you right now. You're going to want to shorten the TRX to its fully shortened position and configure it into single handle mode. Once you're there, we're going to get this good strong grip, strong wide stance, high elbow position, and you're going to lower back and onto that movement just like this. Now, as we go through a couple of these repetitions, let's have a look at what's going on in Randy's back. Let's do a couple reps here, Rand. You see he's got this nice high elbow position. We trained a mid back in the last exercise. Now we're getting this upper back, as well as rotational movement. As he rotates through, we're really engaging through his core, keeping good strong foot position. That's giving us good rotational core movement, strong uh, scapular retraction, as well as shoulder stability and back strength. Now, as we switch hands and go to progress this exercise from where we were, if you're training with a partner, now one way of progression is obviously making it steeper. To regress it, you can make it less steep. We'll talk about that in a minute. If you're training with a training partner, there's a great opportunity to be a little bit evil. Give him a hand target, he can come up pushing against it. Now we want lateral force that way. In this case, I can give him a little bit of a push all the way down. To begin with, I'm going to push him all the way down, right through. He's got to resist that, coming all the way up, resisting it all the way through. A further progression is to make it very plyometric, where I'm going to throw him down. He's got to decelerate it, come back to me, and make it very combative at the top. Let's do two more of these, Randy. One more. Very combative, fighting with me. Good. And all the way down. That's a tremendous way to progress that exercise if you've got the luxury of training with a partner. Now, with a regression, one of the things you're going to want to do as you hit that shallow position is to make sure you're using your feet in an offset foot position. And this will give you the room you need to move through a, a full range of motion in a more shallow position. So you can see Randy's got an offset position. He's gone back. And now he's able to come up and still go through that full range while getting all the benefits of working unilaterally with such a big rotational movement.